him because he's the underdog story. Yeah, big time. Yeah, I like that too. He even has a skill called the underdog. Oh, I like Muriel. I really like Muriel too. I never vibe. I never could vibe with Muriel, but I'm all right with her. She's so fast. Like she's a she's quicker than Rickon. Like or this is all awakening characters. Wendy, Wendy, and Shulk. Let's see what other. I, mean, sure. I guess we're just gonna go straight into it. Okay. All right, going into it on Pokemon Stadium here, we have Shulk versus Wendy. Loses quarters. Not semi, so I believe this is best out of three. Yeah, should be best out of three here. Nico, uh, gonna start off uh, holding center state against Sandander very well with Buster Art on deck against Wendy. Very Ooh. nice using reverse hit of Nair to keep Wendy out of center stage. Yeah, this is, I'd say this is somewhat challenging uh, because we have two pretty large disjoints to worry about. And he was holding him in the grab for the Mecha Koopa to finish off the job. Interesting. Yeah, not, not really getting the range of it, though. Okay. Huh. You know, I, I don't see a lot of people shielding the Mecha Koopa and just grabbing it. Um, I know there's a good reason for that, but I... I K9 went for a lot of those uh, pickups. Smash Monado art on, oh. and it's going to catch him on the ledge here. Fair does reach below the ledge. Yeah. Very oh, nice missing Nair. that Nair. It seems like every time Taternator misses that Nair, he gets into a lot of trouble. Even though, as I said that, he missed the Nair and was still able to get another one out. Uh, whiffing the grab. That, that would have been really cool. Not getting a cross-up that he needs. Okay, Very getting nice the spin, spin out. out. That was a good whiff punish. That was a really good whiff punish. I like the up smash attempt from Taternator there, thinking that uh, Nico would go oh. above him, but no, that wow. sock is gone in an instant. Yeah, up tilt to up air. E Speaking of gone in an instant, deleted? Very nice. Uh, just going to make sure that Nico gets, uh, that Nico runs into that forward smash right there. Nico, uh, still playing from, uh, from the high ground here. Mm. We've all seen episode three. We know what happens. When someone else gets the high ground. It's not a good feeling. Very nice chain from Nico here, just getting some really hefty percentage onto Tater. Oh, that up tilt, that was looking really good, just stopping that down tilt or down air from Windy. Very nice conditioning Taternator to go into shield so he could get him with a grab. I'm just shocked that Nico was able to <laughs> Okay. Alright. So let me just talk about the last like ten seconds that occurred. So Shulk hits the up tilt on shield, and he's still able to throw out options after that. I think he threw out a jab afterward. Was Wendy facing her back when she got, when she shielded the, uh, okay, so that's why. So yeah. basically that's that's the game's way of telling you that Wendy does not deal with cross-ups very well. I think a lot of characters can, um, but Wendy Nair, that was probably the best thing she could have done. F tilt. F tilt? Yes. Oh yeah, F tilt is good. F tilt is pretty good. Um. Or uh, 45, uh, that stupid degree down tilt angle. I was thinking about that. That that seems really uh, hard to do. Because down tilt comes out quite quickly mm. uh, on the Koopalings. But because your back is turned and Shulk has up tilted your shield, uh, while technically you are plus frames, you're kind of negative. Something I just learned, actually, if you get hit with a grounded attack, if you are shielding a grounded attack, yes. it's harder to punish. So if you shield an aerial attack, you have more time to punish the person that did the aerial. Okay. Ooh, good back air too. Um, we finally see the peach. It seems that my words got to Tater. Oh yeah, and the back air too. Like seriously, I, I think if you ask Taternator like what he thinks about Peach, he'll say float cancel bear, and he will say it quickly. Pretty good crown hit on the fair there. Mm. Gets the turn up confirmed into grab back air. Yeah, that was nice. Uh, gotta be wary. Gotta be wary. I love you? all this pressure from Nico, but he's gotta be careful as he well. Saved. No. Totally saved. I mean, sometimes you just gotta take the trade. All right, Nico, very using his uh, skids really well. Oh, barely. Yeah, there's that uh, whiff punish right there. Buster, just not sure what these. Okay, Unders I understand what the up tilts are for now. Mm. Just, ma just in case Tater wants to land a little bit away from uh, Nico. But oh, 
yeah, uh, when it comes to um, Shulk down throw, uh, Buster Art down throw, uh, never DI in because Shulks will be looking for that DI in and it can confirm into a, uh, into an air slash afterwards. Oi. Or like some type of nair afterwards. Oi. Uh, the, the kill combo would be um, Buster Art down throw, buffer um, this arm into uh, air slash. Oi. Oh no, Tater recovering. Has killed himself. Yeah. That's the only unfortunate part about uh, Peach and Daisy's recovery is you're not able to grab it from the backside. 